uh, this is clear. Let's move on to the moderation. So, if mediation is clear, move on to the moderation. At the end of this session, I will give you 10 to 15 minutes for question answer and you can move on with the question answer. But for now, let's just move on for the moderation effect. Okay. So, the moderation effect is more simple. Now, moderation effect. It works like as independent variable. So moderator variable is technically an independent variable. Let me just use this same model. But now I'm taking destination image as a moderator. Remember, I'm not saying that you can use destination image as a moderator. It depends on the theory as Dr. Nabil have already mentioned. It depends on the theory, how you model your variable in the uh, theoretical development. But for making calculation easy, I'm taking this destination image as a moderator here now. Okay, it is not mediator now, it is moderator. Consider it as a moderator. So when we are dealing with the moderation, we consider our moderator as an independent variable. Remember, this is an independent variable. I included this, but it will have effect on the dependent variable. But here, one thing, we call it interaction effect. So this is the point which I mentioned to you in, in the practical development. You should be clear on how this variable can be modeled. Now, this and this variable are going to be interact or going to be multiply. Okay, so the product. So product of these two variables can be considered as your moderator. Remember interaction effect. Okay, interaction effect is not this variable. Interaction effect is an other variable which we can obtain by multiplying these two variables. Okay. Clear? So, is it clear? So, this is called interaction effect. So, we have to see whether the interaction effect is significant or not. We can decide whether our uh, mediation exists or a moderation exists or not. Okay. So, destination image is moderator, but we are considering it as an independent, and then we have blogging, and we will produce a product item or product variable which will be blogging multiplied by destination image, okay? Now, this is called an interaction effect. Remember, this variable is called as interaction effect. So, let's make things easy. We just right click and here, you have this add a moderating effect. Just click on the add moderating effect. It will open another window for you. Okay, now this is the window. And in this window, we have basic setting. Okay, so basic, basic setting, we can use moderator variable. We can use independent variable. And here we have different methods of calculation. Now, these methods can be used differently. I will not go into details of this. Product indicator is just the product of these two, two stage is two stage orthogonalization is also another matter. I will explain a briefly, but for this, you just use this one or product indicator also. Okay. This is how you use this product term generation. Now, this product term can be generated in different methods, okay? Either you can use standardized values, you can use mean-centered or unstandardized values. So, usually we check the standardized value. So, we leave these all setting as it is and just try to run the analysis, okay? So, the moderator variable, you can see my moderator variable is destination image and independent variable is logging. I set these two here and just click OK. Now you can see that the moderating effect is here. Okay. So if I want to show you the indicator, you can see this one. 
Now, this is the interaction effect. Okay. Now, this calculation has been done as a two stage calculation. Why two stage? First, we have calculated the mean of logging, then, we have calculated the mean of vaccination limit, and then we multiplied them. Okay. So, this is product indicator. There is another method. Let's let's just delete this one and try to use another method. Product indicator. Now you can see a lot of indicators there. This is the difference between the two stage and product indicator. In two stage, we just take the mean of all our indicators for blogging and then take the mean of all indicators of destination image and then just take the product term. Okay. But in this case, what we did, we multiply each item of blogging with the each item of destination image. There is a lengthy calculation here. All these items of blogging have been multiplied with the blog uh, destination image. So that is why this is product indicator. Okay. Now, do you understand these two concepts? So, these are two widely used concepts. So, we can just use them as a result and then just click on bootstrapping again and click the bootstrapping results. It is taking time because we are using uh, uh, product term. If you are using just the two stage, it will calculate very quickly. Okay. But in this case, you can see that you can see that the p value and t value is less than 0 0.05, and the result is significant. So if we check. The interaction effect, this is the moderating effect. So, moderating effect has p value is equal to 0. It means that it is acceptable and the moderation exists. This uh, negative sign is showing that the moderation is decreasing the strength of relationship between two variables, not increasing. Okay, so it is decreasing. If it is positive, it means that it is strengthening the relationship between A and B. But in this case, it is just reducing or the weakening the relationship between A and B. This is the interpretation of this moderating variable. So we only check the moderation effect. If the moderation effect is significant, we can just say that the moderation exists. But with the with this uh, negative sign, we can say that it is decreasing the relationship, the strength of relationship, not increase. So it means that if blogging is influencing ecotourism and we include destination image as a moderator, the influence of blogging on ecotourism is going to be reduced. Okay. So this is the meaning of moderation effects. Okay. So this is how we can calculate the moderation effect. Okay. Clear? So, will the effect of moderator be different if we apply different approaches like product or two terms? It depends on your calculation. Mostly, uh, I think it should be same, but let me just uh, do it for uh, nothing to worry about. Let's try to do it because this data can tell us a lot of things. So, let me just try to use the question is this if we use different types of moderators, moderator method, calculation method, our result will be affected or not. Let's try to check this one, okay? I'm just using two stage now. And in this two stage, you can see that only one indicator is there. So it's very simple. Most probably uh, the values can be changed. It depends on, because we have already taken the mean of this, a lot of variation have been reduced and then we have just a few uh, 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 variation. In my opinion, it will be changed. But how much it depends and whether the, the sign is being changed or not. So there is no changes in the sign. Yes, 
the value have been changed, but not uh, a huge value. It depends on your data set. It will be changed, but not so much. But obviously, if your data contains a lot of variation and then you reduce them into the mean, there may be a possibility that uh, your results are going to be changed. But in our case, as I, uh, I understand, for example, if we are taking responses, mostly the responses are on the same side. For example, more are on three, four or five sides uh, as per the Likert scale. So there will not be much effect of these results. Okay, in terms of sign, in terms of strength, yes, there would be uh, definitely uh, a change in the strength of the sign. In most cases, it will not be changed. But maybe very rare cases, the signs also need to be changed. Okay. Okay. I think uh, we shall conclude our session here because uh, a lot of learning today. And uh, in this learning, we we learn about the mediation and moderation effect. Let me just go through quickly all what we learned now, and then I will open the session for question answer. The first thing we learn is. There are there is a disagreement between authors on mediation method. Don't fall into the trap. Some people they will say, okay, do this one. This one is correct. Everyone is correct, depending on how you are going to use it. Okay, I give you different method with the reference. So you have references because I already gave you references also, and I took extraction from their paper and from their. Uh, book. So, there is no confusion on this. There are different methods available for testing the mediation model. You can choose which one you want to use in your research. If you are a final year project in bachelor level or if you are doing for your master level degree, just go with the preacher and his and just check indirect effect. And if they are significant, your mediation exists. You don't, you don't need to go for uh, full um, for partial or full mediation, okay? But if you are doing PhD or if you are going for a, a research article which you want to publish in reputable journals, yes, you should go for further testing of partial or full mediation. So partial or full mediation, I give you two different methods of testing partial or full mediation. The first method is to testing with the uh, variation accounted for method, which is explained by her at all 2014 book. And then I gave you one method where we can check direct effects. If it is significant, we can say uh, partial mediation. If direct effect is not significant, we can say full mediation exists. This method is explained by the who at all 2010. Okay, so this is for mediation in conclusion using smart PLS method. You can use smart PLS for all these methods, okay? The second one was moderation. So moderation, mainly we can do it on the basis of interaction effect, or we can use it on the basis of multi-group analysis. So multi-group analysis I will cover in future videos, but here I will just cover with the moderating effect using interaction effect. But how to generate interaction term it can have different methods. Either you want to multiply each item of one variable with each item of second variable, or you want to just multiply the product of or the mean of one variable with the mean of second variable. These two methods I have uh, discussed today and apply today for the moderation. Those two methods will not give you a lot of difference in terms of science of moderation, but maybe the strength of moderation they will give you and uh, different uh, results, okay? So these are the conclusions for my today's uh, session. And I hope so uh, you have learned a few new things now.